removal. Caution, the display panel assembly is very thin and easily damaged. Take extreme care when separating the display panel assembly from the display enclosure. Important, to perform the disassembly of the display panel assembly, you will need a heat gun, two suction cups, and a non-metallic flat-bladed tool. Important, the heat gun should be set to approximately 100 degrees Celsius. Important, make careful note of the locations of the adhesive strips that secure the display panel assembly to the display enclosure. Avoid heating any areas of the display that do not have adhesive strips present. Heat the top edge of the display panel assembly for 7 to 10 minutes, making sure to avoid the area around the webcam. Place a suction cup on both the front and back sides of the tablet near the webcam lenses and carefully separate the top edge of the display panel assembly from the display enclosure. Starting on the left side of the webcam and moving toward the left edge, use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to remove the adhesive from the top edge of the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Starting on the right side of the webcam and moving toward the right edge, use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to remove the adhesive from the top edge of the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Heat the right edge of the display panel assembly for 7 to 10 minutes. Place a suction cup in the center of both the front and back sides of the tablet near the right edge and carefully separate the right edge of the display panel assembly from the display enclosure. Starting near the top edge of the tablet and moving toward the bottom edge, use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to remove the adhesive from the right edge of the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Heat the bottom edge of the display panel assembly for 7 to 10 minutes. Place a suction cup in the center of both the front and back sides of the tablet near the POGO connector and separate the bottom edge of the display panel assembly from the display enclosure. Starting near the right edge of the tablet and moving toward the left edge, use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to remove the adhesive from the bottom edge of the display panel assembly and display enclosure. On the back of the tablet, heat the left edge of the display enclosure for 7 to 10 minutes. Place a suction cup on both the front and back sides of the tablet near the USB port and partially separate the left edge of the display panel assembly from the display enclosure. Starting near the bottom edge of the tablet and moving toward the top edge, use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to remove the adhesive from the left edge of the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Lift the display panel assembly, rotate it forward until you have access to the display panel cable connector. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the display panel assembly and place the display panel assembly face down in front of the display enclosure. Remove any remaining adhesive from the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Peel back the mylar shielding that secures the battery to the system board. Remove the three 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery cable bracket to the system board. Remove the battery cable bracket. Disconnect the battery cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the retention tape that covers the touchscreen ZIF connector on the touchscreen board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen ribbon cable from the touchscreen board. Remove any remaining adhesive from the display panel assembly and display enclosure. Remove the display panel assembly. Replacement. Position the display panel assembly in front of the display enclosure. Place the adhesive strips onto the display panel assembly and display enclosure in the locations shown. Insert the touchscreen ribbon cable into the touchscreen ZIF connector on the touchscreen board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the retention tape that covers the touchscreen ZIF connector on the touchscreen board. Connect the battery cable into the connector on the system board. Place the battery cable bracket into position on the system board. Replace the three 
2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery cable bracket to the system board. Replace the Mylar shielding that secures the battery to the system board. Insert the display panel cable into its connector on the display panel assembly and replace the retention tape. Perform the following before proceeding with the assembly. Ensure all components are intact and in place. Ensure all screws are tightly screwed. Ensure all cables are properly inserted. Ensure the wireless antenna foil is flat. Ensure the touchscreen board is well attached. Ensure that there is no metallic debris attached to the magnets. Power on the tablet and ensure it boots and that there is touchscreen functionality. Remove the backing from the adhesive strips on the display panel assembly and display enclosure. With the display panel assembly tilted as little as possible, align the left edge of the display panel assembly with the left edge of the display enclosure. Align the top and bottom edges of the display panel assembly with the top and bottom edges of the display enclosure and ensure the front-facing webcam is in the center of the webcam lens. Align the right edge of the display panel assembly with the right edge of the display enclosure. Check all edges of the display panel assembly to ensure they are flush with the display enclosure. Power on the tablet and ensure it boots and that there is touchscreen functionality. Place the tablet in the cold pressing jig. Set the cold pressing jig to 7 kg and press the tablet for 15 seconds.